Hi, so today I'm going to talk about uh, whether it is uh, worth pursuing a career in quantitative finance uh, if you're best out of India. Someone asked this question to me uh, last week and he was more interested to know that, okay, whether it's, you know, quantitative finance is, is uh, worth uh, doing in India, uh, whether opportunities are there in India. Um, because quant finance, normally people think that, you know, it's it's a career that is based out of financial centers like London and New York and Singapore and Hong Kong, but uh, probably not so much uh, in, in, in India uh, because we don't have a global financial uh, center as such. Well, we, some people might say, well, Mumbai is a you know global financial center, but not as big as, not even remotely close to, uh, you know, uh, that of uh, Hong Kong or uh, Singapore let alone London or or, or, or New York. Uh, but uh, is it then worth uh, pursuing a career in quant finance if uh, best out of uh, you know a country like India? Well, <coughs> the short answer is yes, but I'm going to take some time to explain uh, as to why that is the case. All right. Um, you know, you probably know that, you know, um, India is one of the outsourcing hub for the rest of the world, especially for the developed world, right? Um, uh, a lot of companies that have set up their base in, in India and they work and, and Indian employees work for uh, companies based out of US, Europe, UK, Japan, Singapore, Australia, you name it, or Middle Eastern country as well, right? So that's no dif- there's no difference in that in, in, in the field of finance as well. Most of the big banks, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, City, Deutsche Bank, HSBC, Barclay, DBS, Namura, BNP Paribas, uh, you know, you name any big bank in the world, except the Chinese ones, Chinese banks are very big, uh, but they don't have much of international presence. But most of the other, uh, you know, big banks, especially the ones from Europe and uh, the US, they have, um, you know, they have, uh, you know, back offices in, in India. Some of them don't have back offices, but uh, they have outsourcing, you know, uh, centers. Either they have, you know, consulting firms working for them or, um, um, you know, they hire directly from India. I know some European uh, banks, they do, you know, uh, they don't have, you know, back offices in India, but they hire directly from India. I mean, you don't have to come and study over here in Europe in order to work there. They know that, you know, many Indians are quite good in, you know, in, in technical areas such as quant finance. So therefore, they, you know, reach out to people through LinkedIn and they get uh, employees directly from India. <coughs> uh, and, and quite a number of consulting firms based out of India, whether it's EY, KPMG, Moody's, s and you know, these companies, uh, they hire uh, tons of uh, quants in India uh, for uh, the clients in Europe and, and the U.S., um, and it's not just uh, with uh, you know the the quantitative work related to uh, banking, uh, but it's also with the insurance, right? Many big insurance companies, whether it's AIG and you know other insurance companies as well, they have offices here in India, not just to cater to Indian um, uh, or Indian uh, consumers, but uh, to do you know the the you know the the quantitative work uh, the technical work for uh, for the U- us and and european uh, locations right so there uh, so answer to the question is that yes they they uh, a lot of uh, there's quite uh, a bit of demand uh, of quants uh, in in india and uh, you know none of the universities in india actually they have uh, degree programs in in quant finance there are some but not uh, not many Right. So um, and you don't even have to have a degree in quant finance to work in quant finance, to be honest. It's just that you need to be aware of that. Right. There's simply no awareness, actually. Right. Um, But, uh, you know, you can be from computer science background, from mathematics background, physics background, economics background, commerce, uh, chartered accountancy background. Uh, You could still think of working in the field of quantitative finance. You know, it's a very broad area. There's something for everyone. Right. You may be. A highly mathematical guy with PhD theoretical physics. Okay, you have work related to derivative pricing, um, validating pricing models for derivatives. So you know that's something you can pursue. If for somewhat less quantitative, you have a accountancy background. You have a background in economics. You could pursue a career, let's say, in risk management, which is also quite quantitative in nature. Right. Um, 
one other question that you know the the guy who asked me this question uh, he asked me is that uh, what about the trading firms or wealth management firms uh, do they even you know outsource work to india well the answer is yes not to the extent the banks do but there are many trading firms many asset management firms which are also based out of india you know blackrock uh, has offices in india you know dso has offices in india uh many trading firms such as two sigma and all they even hire in india right i don't know for what kind of work um, uh, probably not for quant trading but uh, maybe for just uh, system management but nevertheless these are quant jobs right high paying quant jobs right so yes and it's growing actually right i you know i've met people in amsterdam uh, but also in london you know who gain some experience uh, in india in quant trading and then later on they were hired by european uh, trading firms uh, you know the um, i recently met a guy i don't remember uh, the name of the company he is working with but i recently met someone in amsterdam uh, an indian guy um i think he's working for olam olam international if i uh, remember correctly uh, but he he you know he started his career back in india you know work for a very small boutique trading firms there as quant trader and later on he moved to uh, amsterdam you know so uh, so that that's the thing and that that section of the quant uh, jobs is is always very very small to be honest it's very niche area so if you want to be a quant trader just the quant trader right it it's highly competitive no doubt about it it's very lucrative as well um and the number of jobs is is much smaller compared to that in big banks insurance companies or fintechs or consulting firms but uh, you know that you know is also growing uh, in my view because many of these uh, you know private funds uh, they are you know trying to ha- hire more quantity people also even though their core strategy may not be quantitative in nature but they're still hiring you know quants for um, uh, for a lot of uh, for the lot of the work even the indian uh, mutual funds nowadays even higher quants so that uh part of work is also increasing in india and many other trading firms uh, based out of uh, europe and us canada they also outsourcing their work to india okay they are having base in india right uh so to, uh, to answer the question right the f- going back to this question we started with that whether it's worth pursuing a career in quant finance in india given that india doesn't have a big financial center the answer is yes why not i mean um, you know it, it's a relative terms like what else you, you will do right uh, india is not a developed country right you cannot uh, uh, have a, you know the, it's it's a very competitive world right uh, you want to work with amazon or google you 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 know right you know probably better than me uh, what how competitive it is to get into amazon or google or microsoft um, to work uh, as a developer in india actually i'm talking about not not talking about us uh, amazon or, or or the google office in 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 the us but just in india in bangalore or in hyderabad itself you know it's highly competitive right so you have to weigh in your uh, options right you have to see where you will fit the best right if you're not able to make into uh, in the googles or the, the likes of google or microsoft or that sort of company here in india you could also make a career as a quant in let's say in morgan stanley or in in jpmc it may not be as lucrative as let's say working as a developer in amazon but it uh, i mean if you do well it could be as lucrative or probably even more lucrative but on average that's you know very similar to uh, a tech profile in any or any other tech firms and you know job stability is is better so um yes it is worth pursuing a career in quant finance is obviously uh, uh, you know a smaller world compared to that in the tech world but you could always move back to tech because in quant finance also you do a lot of technical work right and many of the quant finance jobs require you to you know write code do mathematics um you know develop algorithms uh, validate algorithms uh, build models so if if you want to move to other fields later on that is uh, always possible but not the other way around right you know if you work as a developer for 10 years and you want to come to uh, quant finance that will probably uh, more difficult i mean not impossible but certainly more difficult right um but is it a saturating market right is it growing is it saturating well <coughs> uh if you have interest in finance and you are good in mathematics and you know coding right uh, you have uh interdisciplinary skills right so you could uh, work in various forms so if you are good with numbers and you have interest in finance you'll always find some work right finance is 
heavily mathematical right uh, and, and, and numerical right uh, there is no area of finance which is not numerical some people say oh there is um you know the people who do uh, equity research value research they don't use any numbers they use a lot of num uh, quantitative work also nowadays uh, if you don't know then watch uh, some of these videos uh, made by uh, aswad damodaran on his youtube channel where you know he's talking about the stories uh, about valuations everything but he does use a lot of n- uh, numbers and he does uh, use uh, quantitative techniques as well may not be as sophisticated as you would use let's say in other uh, uh, you know quantitative research areas but certainly some quantitative uh, modeling technique as well so um, so where you work right in the field of finance you will de- eventually use some uh, you know uh, numerical modeling or mathematical modeling right so that's uh, you know one thing i would like to share with you um, the thing is that with uh, with any career right there are uh, obviously challenges right uh, quant finance is no different uh, you pursue any technical career right you you may saturate at some point right you have learned everything what do you do next right but in the field of finance it's such a vast area right it's not just the mathematical technique right after a point right? initial days obviously your technical skills will matter a lot but after a while right what will matter is uh, your knowledge of the business right let's say you have worked with the wholesale banking side of thing right you have worked as a quant in wholesale banking right you could move to retail banking and spend you know maybe another 10 years in retail banking right so there's so many products in the field of finance that in you know, one life is not sufficient in order to you know uh, be really good in those areas you have worked in uh, the banking side of or the lending side of quantitative um, uh, area you could move to the trading side also right you could move from credit side to to the the market uh, side uh, that could also be a change right um unlike in many other career right um, especially in tech right uh, it's not that easy that you know you were been a python developer and then you moved to become a developer in totally different area that's uh, not always uh, easy uh, having said that it also has uh, i mean the quant finance world has also shortcomings for example you know it's it's one area that is uh, heavily concentrated in the field of finance right you know if you say you know i have uh, skills in quant finance probably that will matter less uh, in other fields right uh, although i have seen people moving uh, to other fields from quant finance especially in data science area because of the overlap and all that um yeah and the one last thing i would like to mention is that if you have uh, experience working in india for global companies you could always move to uh, other countries for example moving to uh, middle east i know to work uh, for some of these uh, you know middle eastern banks they pay quite good money you could also move uh, to europe uh, european companies hire directly from india us companies don't hire directly from india but they hire through the consulting firms so you could also work there and and move to us i have friends who have moved from e- india to us through ey through tcs to accenture to through through uh, you know snp moody's and all so um, yeah you could also seek uh, you could also you know think about that aspect <coughs> while uh, choosing quant finance as as a career but i think more than anything you know what it's important for you to ask yourself is to uh, know whether you have genuine interest or not if you don't have any interest i think there's no point in doing this but if you have interest i think um, you know there is uh, you know no reason to think that uh, you know uh, there're not opportunities there's certainly uh, opportunities out there in india it is one area where uh, the awareness is much less now at least for now not many people know about the career options in this field um but there are uh, ample opportunities if you have interest right if you don't have interest then don't come into this field for wrong reasons right it's not just the money that should attract you you can also make money in other careers also right um that's something i wanted to share with you um if you have further questions more questions on on this topic please let me know in the comment section you can always also write to me or whatsapp me um thanks see you next time